who this apron is. Filthy. Welcome to a new episode. Wait, what day is it? Gonna... Monday? Monday? It's my birthday. Oh, well then say happy birthday to your brother. It's my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Nicholas. I call him Nicholas. Or Nini. Oh, Nini. Happy birthday, Nini. Hello, little Nini. Huh? I don't know if he watches, but my parents watch. I'm Alexandria. This is Michael. And today, we're making biscuits. Welcome to the Full Measure. On our show, we like to make a recipe a couple different ways. We make a way, we wait, make it one way that's very simple, and then another way that's a little more complicated and a little more involved. We're not trying to decide which way is better. We're just trying to decide whether going the full measure is worth your effort and worth the time. We're putting the work in for you. Exactly. And today we're making biscuits. We're making it two ways. We're making one biscuit just out of the can, just the Pillsbury biscuit, and then another way from scratch. Is there any biscuits that you think back on and being like, oh man, that's a good biscuit? KFC. KFC, I like KFC's okay? biscuit. Yeah. KFC's food in general is pretty good. <laughs> Undeniably, the best part about biscuits from a can, this is your entire ingredient list. Super convenient. We start by peeling the wrapper off the can. I actually really enjoy opening these things and they always give off some kind of World War II era vibe for me. The package says to press on the seam with a spoon. I usually just bop them on the countertop, but let's give it a shot per the directions. I'm 32 years old and these cans unexpectedly popping open still scare me. The spoon isn't working. Time to go with the tried and true meth. Well, I guess it worked. I didn't even have to hit it. It just popped on its own. All you have to do is place these evenly separated from each other on a baking sheet and pop into a 350 degree oven. They bake for 10 to 12 minutes or until golden brown. I didn't grow up eating real Southern style biscuits. I come from an Italian family, so we didn't have biscuits much at all. When I did have them, they were usually these. I wasn't aware of from scratch biscuits until my 20s. These have some nostalgia for me and the real point of them is convenience, which they are very convenient. I made you biscuits. I mean, those smell real good. Yeah. They look good. When, do you remember the last time that you had like biscuits out of the can? Out of the tube thing? Out of the tube thing. Do you ha did you grow up eating these? I think so, yeah. If, if we ever, I don't think we made a lot of biscuits, but it's not as like layery, flaky. Well, so I didn't get the layered ones. Oh. No, these are the Southern style ones. The layered ones I've had in the last couple of years and like the fake butter flavor is so gross to me. Like I wouldn't eat it. These I've had and like these just taste like regular normal biscuits. I think the flaky thing is kind of a gimmick cause like also when, are, when do you need a paper thin sheet of I guess biscuits? that's true. So let's try these. It's very soft. First thing I notice is it tastes exactly like the pizza we made out of the can. Oh yeah, that's true. It's like the exact same flavor. <laughs> if you could like put a scale of what Pillsbury is doing, like they have prioritized texture mm -hmm. over taste. Um, yeah. Like the texture is great. It's super pillowy. It's, it's very, very soft. like soft and like the outside's got a little bit of a crunch to it, but the texture is a million times better than the flavor. It makes your house smell good and they're fast. So they yeah, smelled it, better than they taste. I think if you're like, oh, I'm, I wanna make biscuits and gravy or some sort of like breakfast Sunday morning, real fast. I, Fa like this is, anything in a can is of convenience. So like, somebody who wants really, really, really great biscuits is not gonna open the can. But we had biscuits in 10 minutes. And again, like this is not about these biscuits versus homemade biscuits. This is about, this is how easy it is to have biscuits that quickly. Yeah. And this amount of time versus the amount of time making the, the good from scratch biscuits, is it worth it? Um, so now we have a baseline for how easy it is to make biscuits at home. I'm gonna hold it in my hands. Yeah. Would that feel nice? Yeah. Let's make some biscuits from scratch. Let's do it. This is typically the part where I would show you all the ingredients nicely laid out, but I just straight up forgot to film that for this part of the video. I will list the ingredients and a link to the recipe in the description. This is also a really great time to tell you about our website, fullmeasureshow.com. It has all the recipes and information all gathered in one place. We aren't sponsored by shit. I just wanted to do that for you to say thanks for watching our videos. A note before we begin. 
Biscuits are flour, milk, and butter, essentially. Because they are so simple, it's a good time to splurge on the good stuff when selecting ingredients. That especially goes for the butter. Using high quality unsalted butter to make these biscuits really makes them that much better. If you haven't treated yourself to an expensive butter before, I give you full permission to pamper yourself. Keep the butter for this recipe frozen until you start. When you prepare everything, chop it into rough cubes and keep in your freezer. You want this butter as cold as possible. Start by sifting two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of kosher salt into a large bowl. Place your chilled butter into the bowl of a food processor with the sifted dry ingredients and pulse until combined and mealy. This should only take about 20 to 30 seconds of pulsing. If you don't have a food processor, you could use a fork or a pastry cutter to cut the butter into the dry ingredients. The texture of the flour and butter will be mealy and feel soft. Return this mixture to a large bowl and add one cup of whole milk. Again, quality milk really adds to the finished product. Mix this together with a fork until it forms a shaggy dough. Turn the dough out onto a floured work surface and pat down into a one inch thick rectangle. Using a bench scraper, divide in half and stack one half on top of the other. Repeat this process of patting down, dividing, and stacking two more times. Each time you stack the dough, you're creating more layers of butter. More layers of butter equals flakier biscuits. Pat down once more into a rectangle, cover with a towel, and let this rest for 30 minutes. After your 30 minutes are up, it's a good time to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Using a roller and a soft touch, roll out to about one and a half inches thick. You can use a biscuit cutter or a drinking glass with flour around the rim to punch the biscuits out of the dough. Push down until you hit the surface, but don't twist. This will pinch off the dough and prevent that glorious rise in the oven. Once your biscuits are punched out, you can re-roll the scraps and cut a few more. Try not to squeeze or knead the scraps when doing this. Put the biscuits on a baking sheet and into your preheated oven for 10 to 15 minutes. During that time, they are going to fully come to life, like big time. When they are golden brown, remove them from the oven and serve immediately. Making biscuits from scratch is a deceptively simple process. There's a lot of technique and you need a soft touch. This recipe can take a little practice, but biscuits are very simple to make and the outcome is well worth the effort. About the biscuits. <laughs> oh man, can we put googly eyes on this one? Of course. What do you think? First impressions. They look really nice, and I can just tell they have like that crisp to it. <laughs> they smell really good. Our apartment smells so good. <laughs> you do a little biscuit bath. God, it smells so good. <laughs> That's the winner. <laughs> That's the one. Immediately, texture, 100% different. Oh. So I know that we said that those last ones were soft and whatever, but this one's like softer. Obviously this one's better. What we really need to be talking about, what we really need to be talking about is how much more time it took. This is more work than just like popping open a biscuit thing. Uh, you watched me make these, like, do you feel like that took very long? No. I mean, the hardest, the longest part was just the 30 minute wait time. Aside from time, what was that, the effort that you... Effort was minimal. I mean, all I had to do was like use the food processor, which is like a little bit of cleanup, but like, this is how hard it was. <laughs> <laughs> and if I could do these that easily, like I don't make biscuits very often. And I, I was a little concerned that because I know sometimes the dough can be hard to handle because it's so soft and it can be a little sticky and you have to like be very gentle with it. But if I could do it, any, you, anybody could do this. It's so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. Okay, this, I feel like these are so good that like this is the star of the show with breakfast. Like if you fried an egg yeah, and just an egg and a biscuit, like that, I, the biscuit for me, I mean. Or just the. The butter and the honey was really nice. and Even if these were twice as much work, they'd still be worth it. That, I, I think the takeaway is that going the full measure on biscuits and making them from scratch is like not even a full measure. But I it's do, not even that much work. I do think that that's probably something, I mean, at least for me, if someone was like, oh, we're gonna make our own biscuits. I'm like, ooh, that sounds like a lot. Is it just the misnomer that it's from scratch and like from scratch stuff is hard? Maybe. And it's just like, oh, it's a it's a bread thing, and so that's gonna require some technique, whatever. I think that that's maybe something that would 
keep me from attempting it, but seeing you make this really quickly and I think that that um, kind of takes that away. This is our chart of worthiness that measures effort versus how much payoff you get. The biscuits in a can, obviously incredibly simple, literally one step, but they leave a little bit to be desired. The bigger takeaway from today is that the From Scratch biscuits are not that much work and you get a lot of payoff. Easily worth your time. Thank you very, very much for watching these videos. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any recipes that you'd like us to try out, leave a comment below. If you wanna tell us how you make your biscuit, or actually, I think something that's really personal about biscuits is how people like them topped. I like a little bit of butter and a little bit of honey. Tell us how you like your biscuits down in the comments. Give us a little like. Click subscribe if you wanna see more of these episodes. And again, if you do have a, a recipe that you're interested in seeing us try out and let you know if the payoff is worth it, leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much. Thanks. Can I put googly eyes on that biscuit? Of course you can. Yep, okay. Can you see it? Aww. <laughs>